depending on when you're watching this video, either we're approaching December the 4th or it's already happened. And I'm talking about the imminent change to the elemental plan. Now, we've already done a video, but I want to clarify a few things, mainly because of comments and how there is still a little bit of confusion and there is still a bit of an outcry as well. And rightly so, I know a lot of people are a little bit unhappy but I want to clarify what I understand and what I know as well. By the way, I am not paid by Elemental to do this video, okay? This is my opinion and my belief. Do I think they should have increased the prices? Maybe it could have been done in a different way. Maybe we could have had a lower costing model. But I'm going to go over a few facts that I think are really, really important. With the essential plan up until December the 4th, you would have got all of this stuff, okay? And some of this you might not use or be familiar with, like form submissions. That doesn't mean the sending of the form. That is where you get to keep a copy of what was sent within form submissions. When you go to WordPress, you go to Elementor, you'll see an item in there called submissions. That is your form submission. Some of the most important things, though, were the fact that you could integrate with ACF, advanced custom fields, and pods, dynamic fields, and integrate them with your Elementor widgets. You know, you go to heading, text editor, you hit the stack and you can now pull through any one of your custom fields. Also, some really important features where the custom CSS goes without saying, right? Being able to take your widgets a step further and refine them was massively important. And of course, you can see on the list here templates using the PayPal, the Stripe buttons, and of course, all of the WooCommerce widgets as well. Not so importantly was the notes and the role manager, but hey, you get them too. So what happens from December the 4th? Basically this, it's still $59 per year from December the 4th, 2023. New clients are going to get 50 pro widgets. It basically means you're going to be missing out on a few of them, okay? And if you want to know what you're missing out on, well, you can kind of guess from the fact that loads of items there are now blacked out. Basically the PayPal Stripe button, loads of the WooCommerce widgets, which if you're doing a WooCommerce website, I think are massively important. I think some of the ones on here that can cause a few alarms are the fact that you can't now use your dynamic fields, your custom fields. You can't use custom CSS either. And you're not going to get your form submissions. That being said, though, I'm not entirely sure how many people even bother with the form submissions. I know I do and clients do as well. So if you are a new client and you pay $59 a year, you're still going to get Elemental Pro. You're still going to get loads of widgets. You're still going to have the capability of doing templates, okay? There's still stuff you can do. What you're going to miss out on is everything that's blacked out. Now, is that a game changer? In a way, yes, but is it a showstopper? I'm going to say no. How many websites are you building for your clients where there is no e-commerce? There is no custom field. They're not even that bothered about storing the form submission because they get the email anyway. Form submissions. It's pretty vital when you're collecting PDFs or images and you get so many emails coming through, you're struggling to keep on top of them, so you want to keep a record. Form submissions can also be a bad thing because it can build up how much storage space you're using in your WordPress file manager. So always keep an eye out on that. But like I said, if you're not bothering with e-commerce and you don't want to have like a separate PayPal Stripe button and you're not using custom fields, and you don't even bother with custom CSS, you're just using what you get out of the box, the heading, the text, the image, the video, the accordion, the tabs, loads of features, you're gonna be okay with the essential plan. But what if prior to December the 4th, you were on the essential plan, you've got a client website all your own, and you're using all of those features that are blacked out? What does that mean for you? Nothing really, because you're an existing client. You're grandfathered in, okay? All of those features that were blacked out for new clients won't affect you. So your 1,000 clients you got out there, they're grandfathered in. They still pay $59. They still get WooCommerce. They still get the dynamic uh, custom fields, form submissions, custom CSS. They still got all of that. They're not going to miss out. And you won't miss out either. So if you've got licenses and on your website and you've only been using the essential plan, you still pay $59 you don't lose those features. Existing clients will not get new features. So right now, what you get prior to December the 4th, that's what you get. All right, you get the taxonomy filter, you get the loop grid, you get everything that you get at the moment. But after December the 4th, and this is slightly unpredictable, what if Elemental go and bring out a brand new feature? 
you won't get that unless you go on to the next plan up. So anyone that's grandfathered in, you're okay. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, I'm not happy. Every time there's a new feature, I want that new feature too. Well, you're going to have to upgrade. And I'm really, really sorry to say this. And I know I've already made a car analogy somewhere else. And some people were not happy about it. I've got a BMW Series 4 Grand Coupe. There is now a brand new version of that with extra features. I can't go into the garage and go, well, I bought that car, right? I've only had it three years. I want you to upgrade me. They're going to go, well, no, you want the new features. You're going to have to pay extra. And I know it's not a great analogy, but that is just how things go in life. You know, you got to just take it as it is because you're not going to lose anything. I must make this clear. You're grandfathered in, but brand new features you're going to miss out on. Now, I've got a higher level plan, so I'm kind of okay. So why am I even telling you all this? Because some of you are still worried. Remember, your clients are not going to miss out. And I must stress again, how many times do you actually update your clients' websites with new features? Come on, be honest. Tell me in the comments, okay? Since we've had Flexbox Container, how many of you have revisited all of your previous client websites and converted them over to Flexbox Container? How many websites have you built that were using old uh, standard Elemental blog or some other third party add on have now switched to Loop Grid? How many of you are still using Grid Builder or Jet Smart filters? How many of you have switched to taxonomy filters? Of course, you could argue, do they meet your requirements? But my fundamental point is. Even if Elementor brought out a brand new feature, is it going to affect your old websites you got built? And how many times do your clients say to you, hey, we want to do a whole brand new interface update? Well, if they did, you'd probably charge them for a new build anyway. And if you had to now say, look, we now need to use like the upgraded versions, the plan does go up. Hey, that's that's how it is, right? You want, you want a bigger conservatory, you want a bigger car, you want new features, you want the latest TV. Well, sorry, you've got to pay a bit more. I'm really trying to be diplomatic here and I'm not picking fault because I would have preferred it if Elemento had done a lower level plan. Maybe instead of changing the essential, they could have done a basic plan that was, say, $29 or $39 a year. That's my opinion, but this is what the model is and they've changed it. And remember, you're not going to lose out. Now, if you did have to upgrade, you got to go to the advanced plan, which is $99. And yeah, I know you got to go from 59 to 99. That's a bit of a killer, right? Well, not really, because you get three licenses. Now, you might say, but my client doesn't care about the three licenses. Well, if they're ever doing a bit of testing with a subdomain or a staging site or anything like that, they might like it that they do get those extra licenses, especially if they decide they want to make use of them. And when you apportion it out, 99 with three licenses, that's now $33 per license. And if you're a web agency or a freelancer, I'd like to think that you haven't just bought one license. You've got like a, a group of them. And if you have got a client who likes to buy their own licenses, which isn't a bad thing, by the way, you know, what if you and the client fall out? They've got their license. Look, there's loads of other page builders and theme builders out there. But if you look at their starting price and what you get, a lot of them are around the $99 mark anyway for one license. I mean, there are some products where you get unlimited. But remember, you're getting everything that you currently get in Elemental and the new features for $99. Now, I'm not trying to push you to go and get the advanced plan. What you do and how your business works is entirely up to you. But remember, I've said it a million times now, probably not a million. You can probably take the transcript and tell me in the comments how many times I've said the word grandfathered. But your existing clients and you on your essential prior to December the 4th are grandfathered in. So if you've not bought the essential plan and you've always been using Elemental Free, you might want to consider getting it now. Let's close off with a summary in terms of do you miss out, okay? If you are an existing essential, you do not miss out, okay? You're going to get everything you get now, you get. So when I say do you miss out, I mean on what you currently have, right? You don't miss out. After December the 4th, though, even though you're grandfathered in, will you miss out on new features? Yes, but like I've said... Do you really care about loads of those new features? And if so, then you've got to upgrade to get them. You can't just have everything given to you for nothing. It's not a very nice thing. I know that, but I'm not the one that makes the decisions. And I'm just spelling out 
On December the 4th, the new Essential clients will miss out in a way because they're not going to get as many pro widgets, the dynamic tags, the custom CSS and all of that. So if they really care about those extra features, then they're going to have to go and get the advanced plan. And whether you get the advanced plan now or later on, you're not going to be missing out. So if you're grandfathered in, you're okay, unless you care about the new features. If you're a new Essential one, you got to weigh up like, do you want to get that? Or if you know you're going to be doing a WooCommerce website, then you might want to go on the advanced plan instead. I seriously want to know what you think. Please don't complain to me, okay? Please don't take it out on me because I have had a few personal attacks come my way. Oh, you're only saying that because you're paid by Elemental. That's not the fact or the truth of it, okay? I've looked at what other people pay other page builders as well. And the pricing for what you get with the advanced is still pretty damn good. Like I've said, it would have been nice if Elements were done like a basic plan, but this is how things have played out so far. You're on the Essential plan now and you've got WooCommerce and December the 4th goes and you're still on the Essential. You will not lose any of those features. Your grandfather, Mamad, Papad. Into your plan. You're safe. You're fine. You're okay. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life.